All right, YouTube, I got a big topic that I want to talk to y'all about. Um, we're going to talk about how to sustain your diet, um, how to keep your results after um, dieting, um, what do you do after you're done dieting. Um, we're going to talk about longevity, you know what I'm saying? Being in it for the long haul, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to just get results and then as soon as you reach your goal, your goal is gone. You know what I'm saying? If you want to lose weight and keep it off, um, this is the video for you. So hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, click the bell um, notification to get notified of every video that I make. Also, click the link to save 15% on Javi Coffee. Even if you're not going to buy it, it's, it's free to click the link and go over there and see what they got. You know what I'm saying? Window shop, eye candy, you know what I'm feeling? Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, let's get into it. All right. Picking the diet that you're on, and I'm not going to number these. They're top 10. I'm going to give you 10 or more um, tips. But the diet that, you, that you're currently on is very important. All right, me myself, I just count my calories. Um, even and eat multiple meals a day. I eat three to five times a day. All right, sometimes it's three, sometimes it's four, sometimes it's five. Even when I'm dieting down to a low body fat percentage, I'm eating four or five times a day. All right, so how do you lose weight if you're eating so many times? eating less calories per meal a lot of people will do it with small meals five or six small meals which if you don't have a big appetite or it, it doesn't take that long to fill you up if it don't take that much to fill you up then that's cool but uh me personally i would do volume meaning eating um things that i can have a lot of but with less calories um low calorie dense foods you know what i'm saying so instead of um, burgers, fried foods, fries, chips, and, and soda, um, I will have water or low calorie drinks, low to no calorie on drinks, and eat things that's high in volume but low in calories, like fruits and vegetables, you know, healthy eating. You know what I'm saying? Now, a lot of people see me eating mukbangs and, and cakes and candies and eating whatever I want. Um, that came after knowing my maintenance calories that's number two know how many calories you personally need if you don't know how many calories you personally need you don't really have the freedom to eat however you want if you're trying to get results so don't just see me going out to eat and eating fast food mcdonald's wendy's zaxby's um or etc fried chicken you might see me eat all kinds of stuff and be like, wow, he must be, he must don't really know much about fitness or, 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 or even though I got the results, you, you would say that. Or some people say that as they say, it. or he must know a lot about fitness or, or this, they say this, I guess I can eat whatever I want. Cause he has abs and he's eating it. No, you got to develop the skills, which brings me to part three. Number three, develop your skills. All right and this goes for diet and exercise this is mostly a video um pertaining to diet because you can lose weight without exercise a lot of people don't want to go to the gym a lot of people don't want to do cardio i um i advise you to at least try get up do something that you um like doing you know what i'm saying if you're you know what i'm saying i'm not your doctor so if you're mobile enough don't get up and hurt yourself so you know what I'm saying? And if you have been in mobile, if you have been, I used to be lazy. I ain't calling nobody else lazy. But if you have been sedentary, if you've been um, just living an unactive lifestyle, let's say it like that. If you've been living an unactive lifestyle for a long time, do not get up and just start running. That's number four. Pace yourself. You know, we're gonna throw a little bit of uh, exercise in here. This is a diet video. Um, we're gonna throw a little bit of exercise in here. Pace yourself, whether you're doing cardio, whether you're lifting weights, or whatever physical activity, basketball, it doesn't matter. Pace yourself. Me and my son, we play one-on-one -on -one basketball. Before I started playing basketball with my son, 
I haven't played basketball in probably 15 or more years. Straight up. So what did I do? Did I go out there on that court and start just going hard? No. If you watch my first um, father and son basketball video and you watch the ones I had lately, you'll see a big difference. And you, of course, I'm playing against an eight-year-old, so I can't really, you know what I'm saying? I don't, you know what I'm saying? I can't go too crazy. But um, I'm playing against an eight-year-old, so I, I can't go too crazy. And plus, I'm trying to teach him. But you see the parts where I go by myself, and I'm and I'm flying through the air, and I'm doing all kind of crazy shots and stuff. That came over time. Just like you see me in the gym. If you see me lift a lot of weight, that came over time. You don't go in there and just, I want to lift 500 pounds. Never lift the weight in your life. Let me see if I can lift 500 pounds. That's not, no, don't do that. So we back on diet. So we on, what, number six? Number six. Know that your maintenance calories, I said maintenance calories, but know that your maintenance calories are not going to be exactly the same as mine or anybody else's. It's like fingerprints, it's like zebra stripes, tiger stripes, whatever. Your maintenance calories are your personal maintenance calories, and they will change. That's number six, adjusting. Okay, when I first started dieting, um, last, well, my last cut, I don't remember when it started, but when I first started, it was like, I was eating like 3,200 calories. When I was done, when I was at my shreddedest, y'all see my abs in different videos, the one, the pictures that looked the absolute best, okay, was due to a few different things. Some look decent, some look better, some look, oh my gosh, wow, some look like, oh, you're not that ripped. They're stages. You're not gonna go from 20% body fat to 5% body fat. You're gonna hit everything in between. You're gonna be 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, and then it's gonna go up sometime. You know what I'm saying? It's not always gonna be a linear. You're not gonna win, 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 no matter what. So, understand that there's stages, all right? And um, just keep going, you know? Pace yourself. Number, what, this is number six, seven? I don't even know. No. Number six or seven, I don't know. Let's get into that. Understand that you're not going to have nothing but wins. This is not linear. Strength gain isn't linear. Fat loss isn't linear. It can be, but it's not really. Muscle gain is not linear. There's going to be wins and losses. As long as your wins outweigh your losses, it's cool. Don't number eight or seven. Um, <laughs> don't, hey, this is off the top of the head. This is how much knowledge I got. I got knowledge, I don't gotta write it down. All right, um, I got videos I write down. I was just wrote, I just halfway wrote my last video down. The video I'm gonna link below called the top 10 misconceptions about weight loss. For those who are still watching, that video I wrote down. And, and that video was my well, most well put together video as of late. You know what I'm saying? So y'all gonna have to watch that. If you like anything I'm saying in this video, this ain't nothing. But um, listen to it anyway, we almost done. So number seven or eight, right? I said linear, right? Um, Pick the diet, did I say number one? Number one was pick the diet that, we gonna go back to that because we didn't go all through all of it again. I'm just gonna say it. I don't know if I said it right. The diet that you're on right now whether it's OMAD, keto, whatever, if it's not something you're gonna keep doing, guess what? When you stop doing it, uh, you're probably gonna gain your weight back because you don't know how to actually count your, just count your calories. That's all I say, man. You know, carbs don't make you fat. So keto, it ain't the keto that's making you lose weight. You know, if you like keto, I'm not saying don't do keto. If you got results doing OMAD, I ain't said don't do OMAD. But the reason why you have results, no matter what diet you're on, is because you're in a caloric deficit. The style of eating that you pick, that's up to you. I don't do that. I don't cut out anything. I look at it like if, and it's been proven to me at least a lot of times and within myself, if I cut out something that I love eating, I love candy bars. If I just cold turkey, have no candy bars. So I'm gonna have no candy bars ever again in my life. It's 
soon as I have one candy bar, I ain't gonna be able to stop. And it's not just candy bars in particular that's gonna make you gain weight. Anything makes you gain weight. Healthy food can make you gain weight. If you eat in a surplus of calories. If you're eating more, if you, let's say your, your maintenance calories, I'm just throwing out some easy math. Let's say your maintenance calories was 2,500. If you're constantly always eating way more than 2,500 calories, which most people who don't count their calories, male, female, whoever, just because you're, that's gonna be number nine. But I'm, I'm gonna save that. But if your maintenance calories is 2,500 and you're always eating 3,000, 4,000 calories or more, you're going to gain weight. You're not gonna lose weight. It doesn't matter what you're eating. You could be eating chicken, broccoli, and rice. You could be eating vegetables, fruits, and, and all kind of healthy stuff, right? You might not be eating fried food or nothing, but if you're eating in abundance to where, and especially if you're eating avocados, peanut butter, things like that, fat has nine calories a piece. For those who do keto, remember, the main thing you need to remember is fat, and you need fat. You need fat for your hormones. But if you overdo it, you're having nine calories per gram of fat. Not saying don't eat avocados. I'm not saying don't eat peanut butter. I'm kinda saying don't eat peanut butter. You know, if you don't really know how to count your calories, if you're eating these high calorie dense foods, it's going to push you over every time. Every time. Number nine. God dang it, what was number nine? I forgot. Let's just make another one. I'm just pulling something out. Calories out, <laughs> all right? calories out all right we we talking mostly about dieting um calories in means how many calories you're eating how many calories you're putting in to your body calories out means how many calories are you burning how many what are you burning you're doing your cardio you're doing your weightlifting you're doing your exercise your aerobics or whatever it is you're doing playing sports take care of your kids working your job everything burns calories at a different rate right but if your calories out does not surpass your calories in, you will not lose weight. If you're eating 2,500 calories a day, but you're only burning less than 1,000 a day, you only ate 2,500 calories, well, your calorie needs are, like I said, your calorie needs are different than if, your calorie needs are different than other people's, but your calorie needs are also different from you, if you're you active versus you inactive, is a whole different you. Your calories are your calorie needs are different than your calorie needs, if that makes sense, right? So if I was to stop working out, no cardio, no basketball, um, uh, get a job that burns less calories than what I got. If I burn way less calories than I'm burning now and I end up eating the same calories that I'm eating now, I will gain weight, straight up. So you gotta understand how things work, all right? Stop guessing, stop wishing. Number nine is gonna be, uh, I'm gonna just make a number nine. Like I said, number nine, what's that number nine? Is this 10? I'm gonna have bonuses too. So uh, we ain't done. Um, <laughs> number nine, I think, is, uh, Stop doing fad things. Stop doing. Stop thinking it's magical. Stop thinking your. That was it. I think your calories count. That was number nine. Number nine. I remembered it. This is was actually number nine. Your calories count whether you count them or not. So just because you're saying, "Oh, I ain't gonna count it," so it don't count. Drinks count. A lot of people don't count their drinks. Drinks count. Sauces count. All that counts. Everything counts. All right. That's why you want low calorie things like coffee. Click the link to save 15%. You want low calorie things. All right, you want, you know, water. You know, I drink, and, and, and artificial sweeteners like diet soda, that's iffy for a lot of people. I drink them, not all the time, not every day. But a lot of people that say things like, oh, you shouldn't drink artificial things. You shouldn't do this. People be doing the things that they tell you you shouldn't do. But if you're having 170 calories per serving of soda, and most people are gonna have more than one serving, I'm gonna have like three servings. So that's 170 times three. A lot of people are eating way more calories than they think. If you don't really count your calories, and if you don't count everything, 
you might be, you might count your calories. The biggest mistake, we're going to say number 10, so we're going to end it. The biggest mistake I see people doing is under-reporting their calories. You know, people will count certain things and they won't count other things. Anything that has calories needs to be counted. And a lot of people, number 11, man, people, people think that counting calories is a hassle. It's not more of a hassle than me, be, to me. It's not more of a hassle than me being overweight. It's not more of a hassle than me not getting my goals. Count calories is a hassle. No, man. Come on, man. Um, Watch my other videos. Watch the video that I link below. It's way better than this one, I promise. Um, <laughs> thanks for watching this video, whoever watching this long. Hey, always take your pen and pad out. I'm kind of mad right now. I'm kind of frustrated right now. I can't really hit the gym. I called off of work yesterday. If y'all watch my latest videos, y'all might get depressed. But if y'all want to know what I've been going through, just watch them. So, um, yeah, man, my videos ain't the, this video ain't the same as I'm usually am. So if you're watching this far, know that my videos are usually better than that. But that does not take away from the fact that everything I just said in this video was facts. Peace.